Hello there everybody, welcome back to another review from Malvern Junction. Um, as you guys know, I did mention to you that I purchased three of these um, from yesterday's um, show, from the DEMU um, model show. So these are cross-country um, standard class turkeys. Um, if I put it somewhat like that, that's a lot more better for you. So this one we got 4939B, which is a try the standard disabled toilet coach. We got R4940G, which is a, a trailer standard coach. And we got 4940H, which is a same thing TS, try the standard coach. Now this is coach G and this is coach H and I'm assuming this is going to be coach F. So let's so have a look, is it G? No, this one's D, this one's C. Oh, right, well, okay. So that explains everything. I thought they'd done it this way to make it a lot more better for everybody to understand of what uh, what coach letter they are, but they won't. <laughs> so we've got, uh, we've got three coaches. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. So we've got three coaches. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to put two to one side and then I'm going to do a quick review on this on one coach and then I'll set it all three, have one in round and then we'll see how they get on. Okay, so bear with me for a moment. Okay then, so what we're going to do, I'm going to open this up uh, as best I can and uh, we'll have a look at it uh, and see what it's like. So bear with me. I'll try to get this open as quick as I can in this clip. So the couplings, you've got these uh, nasty type of couplings. I don't like these, but I could always uh, collect them if they come in every single uh, cross-country coach. I'll just grab all of these, put them in a bag and sell them, or just sell them as they are for like uh, a pound or two each but for a pair. But you never know. Yeah, it's just never know. Ooh. I do hate the sound of that uh, horse cube um, crackling. And here we have it. So this is the uh, trailer standard uh, disabled toilet. You can see all blacks out there. And as you notice, it's on this side. It has been blacked out because the toilet's there for the disabled. Now, this is the same kind of tooling as the, the fag packet <clears throat> that I've got. So this is the latest tooling. This is um, the one before last, oh, this year's tooling or last year's tooling. So it's only about, I'd say about four or three years old at least. And uh, what I don't understand is... There's two holes here, obviously for a pair of steps like this, there's two holes there, two holes there for the ladders, two holes there for the ladders, but none up here. So what all that is about, I don't know. So these, these couplings, I will change them into a uh, big D uh, couplers, because I don't like them. They've got very nice metal wheels as well, from Hornby. But the detail on it, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sliding door features. The gangway. Yeah, it's plastic. It's never rubber. But it is absolutely astonishing model. It's absolutely wonderful. I I do like it. I, the only thing is... I, yeah, I can understand people love the detail, but I'm not a, a detail person myself. So, to me, <clears throat> because I've got some old coaches, like the first Great Western Purple, um, it's actually got so much detail on them, as like the others. And the fag packets, uh, this one coach that I've got, an old Hornby uh, coach, uh, it's actually got the same tooling, but it's actually got so much detail. These toolings, I can, well, uh, not all this, the uh, the details, I could take them off, but people say, oh, no, 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 leave them on. Just uh, get some spare parts and just do up the old Hornby or whoever made them, uh, Oxford Rail. Um, just do 
adding on details, but I, I don't really know. I don't really know, to be honest with you guys. I really don't know. But, as I say, I'm not uh, a detailed person myself. I mean, I, I bought some coach shoes and locomotives uh, that's American. And uh, they give you separate detail packs. And, uh, let's say, put your own detail on. I'm like, nah, nah. Too fragile. They'll break easily. That's why I sleep them off. <clears throat> but you never know. You never know with this. But we'll see what, what I'll decide. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know this is this handles up here. Yeah. Now, with um, the latest tooling on the fab packets, these are separately fitted uh, see-through um, handles because they're uh, put in as wire. This is part of the moulding of the, the roof. So you won't be able to see much detail on the roof, but there is quite a substantial detail, so as it is, part of the moulding, as it is. So I'm going to set up all three of these coaches and I'm going to get a locomotive to pull them around and uh, we'll give them a test run. Okay, everyone? Okay, then everyone, now I've got the coaches all set up, ready. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, if I back these up a little bit, I'm going to get uh, Gordon to pull them around for us to uh, give us a bit of a demonstration. So bear with me and uh, I'll bring Gordon over. That was a perfect good coupling that was. I hope Sam's trying to approve on that. <laughs> right then, give it a bit of a, uh, give it a pull. Yep, yeah, it works fine. Because Gordon's got medium sized decouplings and these are narrow ones. It's just about a uh, couple of <coughs> pretty well, excuse me, for coffee. Still got a bit of a sort of uh, dry throat. So, I was just going to do a bit of a running session and uh, here we go and we'll have a look to see how they are. And this is the first time I've ran these coat shoes. Not bad so far, not bad at all. I'll put Percy on, on the go as well. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. I wonder what we're like uh, going in here. So, let's do some trains, man, shall we? Let's do, let's do, let's do a coupling test, shall we? Nicely, does it. Oh, well, that doesn't seem so bad. Okay, coming up forwards. No derailments whatsoever. There we go. Just put Percy over there. And there we have it, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's bring you back over here. Here we go. Now, I've still got a bag of goodies over here, so have a look through it. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. And, uh, yep. And uh, also, I've got uh, my friend's Welsh train over here, his Welsh coal train. Uh, I've got to pack that up for him ready for Tuesday because we're going to Bournemouth 
model where I club because he's back for three months now on uh, a summer holiday from university. So I'm going to pack his uh, coal train for him today. Uh, probably tomorrow as well. And before we go out anywhere on Tuesday morning. So thanks very much then guys. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Take care for now guys and stay safe. And uh, also to Kelly Ashford. Uh, as I say, my condolences uh, about your dad. Uh, as I say, it's it's not nice uh, losing a loved one that you love so much from the family. Uh, especially a friend as well. But... I'm I'm still living through on my own now after the loss of my mum, and uh, I've almost got myself sorted out of the house now. So everything's coming along tickety boo for me. But as I say, Ashley, um, sorry, uh, Kelly Ashford, Kelly, you always got us, and we always got you. If you need to talk to anybody, Kelly, just uh, <clears throat> give us a message and. Uh, we will keep in touch with you and uh, yeah, we can talk to you about anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review and uh, I'll see you all again very soon. Take care guys, stay safe and have a wonderful weekend.